Hi Saucy Sisters, my name is Emily and I have a question for you. I've been hearing about this term called terroir everywhere, all over the magazines and on the internet and at the wine stores. What is terroir really? What a great question. Terroir can just sound so intimidating. But to explain what terroir is, I'm going to use this as an example. Wow, Beverly, that is a big grape you've got there. Barbara, put your glasses on. <laughs> this is a tomato, and more specifically, it's a New Jersey tomato. We grew up in New Jersey, and we know for a fact that Jersey tomatoes are the best. North Carolina tomatoes are fine, as are Tennessee tomatoes, but they don't taste anything like a New Jersey tomato. And that tomato has a sense of place. It's the same with grapes. They have a sense of place too. And that's really what terroir is. It's the belief that the land and the climate where the grapes are grown impart unique characteristics into the grape that couldn't be imparted in any other region of the world. So the terroir coming from a Cabernet from Napa Valley will taste different than the terroir from a Cabernet from, say, Bordeaux, France. But you won't experience terroir in all wines, but you certainly will in all the good ones. <laughs> like the industrial winter tomatoes that you find in the supermarket that really don't taste like much. But that New Jersey tomato, mwah, perfection. Well, here is to finding terroir in our tomatoes and especially in our wines. <laughs> Cheers!